watching CBS3 Eyewitness News. On the Health Watch today, federal health officials are investigating a possible link between breast implants and a very rare form of cancer. For on your side, medical reporter Stephanie Stahl is here now to explain this. Steph? Lots of concerns about this. The FDA says implants are safe. This is only a possible cancer connection found with both silicone and saline implants. Doctors answering questions from women with implants say they do not need to worry. Good afternoon, Dr. Bucky's office. Sherry speaking. How may I help you? People calling with questions about the FDA announcement that it's investigating a possible link between breast implants and a very rare form of cancer. It needs to be put in perspective. And sometimes scientific information needs interpretation. Pennsylvania Hospital plastic surgeon Lewis Bucky says 5 to 10 million women have breast implants worldwide. The FDA is looking at 34 of them developing a rare cancer. The chance of getting struck by lightning is way higher than 34 and 5 to 10 million. The FDA has created a registry for doctors to report cases of women with implants developing not breast cancer, but anaplastic large cell lymphoma, or ALC a very rare but deadly lymphoma. They have found in reports the diagnosis of ALCL happening around a implant or ALCL of the breast in some patients. Whether that is related to their breast implants or not has not been determined in any way. Now, this new investigation is not related to action the FDA took against silicone implants back in 1992. Studies failed to confirm any dangers, and they were put back on the market five years ago. Again, the FDA says that these implants continue to be safe. Women with any concerns should talk to their doctors. I think that doctor's soundbite really resonated when he said you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. It really does. Seth, thank you very mm -hmm. much. All right.